You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from February 26th. Yeah. The official road to WrestleMania. Isn't anything after the Royal Rumble the official? Yeah, but okay. Oh, sorry. Raw's official road to WrestleMania. Oh, well, yeah, because it's the, the after. Storylines the... are done, mm-hmm. leading up to the Elimination Chamber. Maybe the storylines are done. Well, a lot oh, you of mean, them. You mean the ones that were that... leading to yes, the Yes, okay, yes, okay. yes, yes, I, yes. I was questioning what you were saying before you finished talking. Uh, <laughs> so Okay. <laughs> so uh, before you finished, not before fair you enough. started. Um, so. uh, you should probably always question what I'm going to say. Exactly. So that, that's fair. That's a fair statement. I've, 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 uh, grown to realize that. Yeah. I was, I was pretty warned for that. You should. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, so a lot kind of happened, but at the same time, nothing is solidified. And, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> they like teased a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like a lot of different things. Um, but it's the start of the build. That's basically yeah, pretty it. much. But we don't but, know which direction. Well, there's almost a month and a half between this and Mania. So oh, yeah, it's, what, it's a very April long time. Eighth or tenth, something. I think. Tenth, is it? Yeah. It's it. I think it's the tenth because um, it's right around the time well, Miz's kid is going to be born. Yeah, because <laughs> normally it's the um, the first, right? Or the it's second? the first Sunday of April. But I noticed when I was looking at the date. Mm-hmm. That, like, the week before, maybe it's the 8th. The 8th makes more sense now I think about it. Because um, it's, it's the first week uh, weekend of April isn't that. It's April 8th. 8th, yeah. Yeah, so the first could could have been the day, but they yeah. chose not to for some reason. Gotcha. Um, maybe because of the schedule with the other pay-per-views. Maybe there's a conflict with the venue. Oh, uh, yeah. That would be knows? my guess. That would it's make possible. Sense. Anyway. Yeah. So... This show opens with five, almost ten, between five and ten minutes After, of, yeah, oh. of video recaps. Mm-hmm. Um, so they were basically talking about the Elimination Chamber matches, and uh, the Ronda Rousey thing got a lot of attention, mm-hmm. and then the, finally the show actually starts. Yep. Um, Alexa and Mickey come out. Yeah, I don't know, this was just an odd opening. Just because there were so many things that seemed to happen, but mm. nothing was... Oh, you mean in the segment itself? No, previously, leading up to it, where now Mickey and Alexa are out together. Like, I mean, I know they always teased it, but, like, is Mickey a heel now, or is... Well, I think that they're just friends with the ambigu- ambiguousness of having her not really she's she's teaming with alexa not necessarily agreeing with yeah alexa. I, I guess that's because it doesn't matter no, it doesn't matter it was just weird because nothing she was still well it's become clear that they're if if you take um i guess the way that the women like the raw division works mm-hmm. is that you have sasha and uh bailey and oscar they're the good guys right now, in a traditional sense. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fair enough. Uh, you have Absolution mm-hmm. are the bad guys, and that leaves Alexa, Mickey, I and guess Naya it's tweeners kind in the of. middle. Yeah. So if they need to be the good guys, they could be the good guys. If they need to be the bad guys, they could be the bad guys. Yes, that's true. You, you saw that with Alexa Bliss being on Absolution's team last week. Right. So I think that that's the way that they're playing it. Mm-hmm. This way, Naya only has one thing going on. She just wants to beat up Asuka. Asuka. Yeah. But that makes her a bad guy, but only because she's going up against Asuka. Asuka. Yeah, because next week she could be squashing a absolution. Exactly. Yeah. I so I, I think that that's, that's their steadfast plan. Fair enough. Uh, plan. I'm looking, looking too deep into it. Yeah, Fair pretty enough. much. It doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, she co- they come out, and Alexa goes on about how she made history last night, mm-hmm. um, and then she said that Mickey did a great job, and blah, 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 and then she basically made fun of Absolution. Right. Yeah. She said that they were uh, shouldn't have even been in the match, um, and then Bailey, she said- Well, she runs down Bailey and Sasha. Yeah. yeah everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Well, I was, I was being a little more specific. Oh, okay. But, um, but yeah, and then Sasha got the worst of it, obviously. Um, and then she said that, uh, she wished that Nia had beaten Oscar mm-hmm. streak. Yeah. She deserves to be in the main event because of the damage that she did to Oscar. Yeah. And then Oscar had come down at that point. Mm-hmm. Right. Because Alexa said that she's going to beat her at mania. 
Mm. And uh, she's gonna be the one to beat a shriek right. now. Yeah. And, and uh, so yeah. And then that's when Naya comes down, mm-hmm. right? And well, because she kind of set a trap. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, because Asuka comes in and like is face to face with Alexa. She's like, I'm not going to do anything about it, but she will. Mm-hmm. And that's when Naya, Naya comes, comes out. Down. I thought right. she was talking about Mickey at first. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it didn't, fair. didn't make a whole lot no, of sense. No, no, no. And then, yeah, <clears throat> Asuka kind of stood her ground. And oh, then, yeah. obviously, the she got outnumbered mm-hmm. by the three of them. And then Bailey and Sasha come down, yeah. which it was like, all right. It kind of makes sense. and It's... Well, it's whatever. It, again, it, it speaks to what I was talking right. about. No, absolutely. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, yeah, no. And then that led to everyone's favorite thing, mm-hmm. a six-woman six tag. tag. That is WWE staple it's for their, the women's it's division. It's their go-to. Um, but, no, I mean, to be fair, this one did make sense. It wasn't... Well, yeah, they set up something right. with it. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just, oh, tonight's going to be a six-woman tag, yeah. like last week's main event, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so... The this is uh, you know your normal run of the mill tag. Uh, Sasha for the all right, most. All right, so, uh, let's backtrack just for a second. All what? right. What? So obviously Alexa alluded to facing Oscar at Mania. Yes. Oh um, yeah. So, and then obviously her putting the good word in that Nia deserves to be in the main event, mm. and Oscar never technically said who she was going to face yet. Um, I, I'm gonna say that at this point from. All okay, all right, but still, still, it's never been said. I know, so. I know. But from everything that they've insinuated, because at first I agreed with what you're saying. Right, right. Um, I don't think that they're waiting for her to announce it anymore. Mm-hmm. I think it's just a foregone well, conclusion. I, I guess, but I, I mean, technically the SmackDown women's title match still has to happen at Fastlane. Yes. So, I mean, that would then she would challenge Charlotte. All right, but anyway, I'm like just going to say I, what I thought. Yeah, yeah. No, and, you, there's no, there's nothing to suggest that that isn't possible, no. but the way that everything's been worded, they've made it kind of clear that that's what they're going to do But I think the it. whole reason is is to go with the swerve. Okay. So Asuka's going to pick Charlotte, and that leaves no opponent for Alexa, uh-huh. and all of a sudden, Kurt's like, well, you were talking Nia up a whole lot so we're gonna put her in the match with you at mania and that makes sense on both parts it's true because smackdown charlotte doesn't actually have a viable opponent right. for us in mania. or 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 they do oscar versus alexa and we get becky versus charlotte on smackdown that would be fine yeah i got right. no problem with yeah, that that that's but i don't I'll... see that happening either no, no 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 so that one i don't see happening. so like i said i i like your plan yeah i just it feels like they've been so heavily alluding too because at first at the elimination chamber it seemed like they were saying that we also have to see if there's going to be a cash in or something like that as well yeah, it seems more and more that's going to be a failed cash in because Probably. they're not doing anything with carmela that's true oh no she was answering tweets what once one segment yeah, they showed and it was a, during a match yeah it was dumb um anyway yeah so the uh, generic six woman yeah. tag the stuff. big biggest thing that happened in the match is that Sasha went for a tag and yes. Bailey dropped off the apron and mm-hmm. kind of said, "Screw yep. you." Yep, um, that's for last night. And then, so she pretty much gave up on Sasha. Mm-hmm. Um, Sasha's actually able to tag in Oscar shortly thereafter. Yeah. But Bailey did come into she make came a in save to help Oscar Asuka out. Yeah, right, yes. right, right. Um, but it's not like she completely like left the whole team or something like that. It was yeah. just. It was just against Sasha. Mm -hmm. And eventually, Asuka makes Mickey tap out. Yeah. Was it an arm bar? Probably. I think That seems her go-to thing. Yeah. Well, the Asuka lock is for, like, more difficult opponents. Or they're doing, because isn't uh, Ronda Rousey supposed to be the master of the arm bar or something like that? Mm. Everyone uses arm bars. Arm bar. Yeah. So, yeah. Man of a thousand and one holds. What is that? Or is it four? Dean Malenko is the man of a th- or a thousand holds, and, and then Chris Jericho, Jericho is the man of a thousand four. four uh, yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yep. So uh, up next, uh, John Cena comes out to mm-hmm. address his road to WrestleMania. Oh, because obviously John! He didn't win the Elimination Chamber match, so right now he doesn't have a path to WrestleMania. Woe is John Cena, right? Pretty much. <laughs> it's funny that they're making this such a big deal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he comes out and he says that I failed. I failed at the Royal Rumble. I failed at the Elimination Chamber. Mm-hmm. I have no road to WrestleMania. So he knows what he has to do now. Mm-hmm. And that means that he needs to make a challenge and then 
he's going to challenge The Undertaker <gasps> to a WrestleMania match. And, and the crowd absolutely loses yep. it. And then he's like, well, I was told that that match can't happen. Now you know how I felt with failure or something yeah, like much. that. It was really good. So he's like, the only way I can go to WrestleMania is through SmackDown now. So mm-hmm. tomorrow night I will go there and try to figure it out. Yeah. So basically the <laughs> thought is he's just going to either challenge Nakamura for his uh, Royal Rumble victory match, or uh, just throw himself into the world title match. With- A.K.A. SmackDown sucks, and we need to put John Cena on yeah, it to hopefully get some way- eyes on the product. It's true. It's the only way to do it. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. 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 I, I, I honestly don't understand why they brought him over to Raw anyway. Because I, I know that they did it so that he could feud with Reigns. Right. But that was a one-and-done thing. Yeah, like, well, then he was gone for a while. I know, but he came back to Raw. It shouldn't have come no. back to Raw. Well, yeah, but he wrestled on SmackDown at Survivor Series, didn't he? For SmackDown, yeah, yes. Yeah. But then he came back to I, Raw. Right afterward. Yeah, yeah, it made no sense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's his free agent. Right, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, so then we have... Uh, I guess it was supposed to be a match, right, between Bray Wyatt and uh, Heath Slater. Yes, That's sir. What, uh, so Heath and Rhino were in the ring, and Wyatt comes out and starts attacking, right? Doesn't he start attacking yeah, both of the, them? Yeah, before the match even yeah. starts, he starts beating up both of them. And then the match never got underway. No. And then... <laughs> this was so dumb. Bray does his normal nonsense of grabbing the microphone, yep. and he says, the Great War is not over. Yeah, he's and, sitting in the corner, too. Yeah. And then... Um, it's it's just still going on. That's yeah. that's it. But yeah, he says that the, the, he beat them up because of Matt Hardy. Yeah, as if he needed a reason to do it. Mm-hmm. But I, I would assume this is going to go to the Hardy compound at some point. Well, he said that he said something about the uh, like he it won't be like like I don't think the words he used were, but he was like alluding to it not the next challenge won't be. Like in a traditional match, right, yeah. That he he made that pretty clear. Mm-hmm. So uh, so yeah. And uh, let's move on because it's garbage. <laughs> garbage. Yeah. So uh, up next, the Miz comes out mm-hmm. and he complains that uh, that Raw is being uh, taking place in Anaheim, like when you have yeah they have Los Angeles what, cities, 45 yeah. minutes away or something whatever, like whatever that. he said yeah. Um, and then he complains about being taken for granted and blah 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 and well, how. Before this, right, we were told that we were going to find out Miz's yes. opponent mm-hmm. for WrestleMania. Yeah, so, so they swerved us again. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's why he was all pissy. Yeah. So he says that he talked to Kurt Angle, and he asked Kurt Angle what his plans were for WrestleMania. And Kurt goes, well, your match tonight might <laughs> have an implication for um, what you're going to do at WrestleMania. Yeah. And then The Miz loses it about... I'm the. I made this ch- uh, championship it's relevant, relevant and yeah. blah blah Being blah. Being disrespected, the yeah. usual Miz. Uh, so, talk. And so yeah. Yeah. So at this point, we kind of expected since the rumors were leading to Braun, yeah, to, for him to come. Braun out. come out and yeah. beat him up. But nope, that wasn't the case. Nope, we had Seth freaking Rollins. Come yeah. Out. So uh, so yeah, we got Seth versus the Miz, mm-hmm. and as usual, Rollins always puts on a good match. It's true. Um. Yeah, he he's really been like balls to the wall lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he hit what a suicide dive on oh Axel and Dallas. Yeah, and, and then, then all three of them were on the outside, yeah. and he hit one to them. Yeah. Um. So. But yeah, no, Seth looked good as usual in this mm-hmm. match, and then uh, he finished it off with a frog splash from like what three quarters of the ring. He was there. There was basically the distance that um, Mustafa Ali needs for the inverted inverted four fifty. <laughs> Yeah. That, but on, on the, the other side, side of the yeah. room. Yeah, because he kept looking. He was like, I don't know. But yeah, it's I'm not, going for it's it. It's not a good idea. Yeah. He could have ended up like uh, Brock Lesnar's uh, shooting star press. He's coming up short. Break his neck. Not, well, well, not in that. broke his neck. Because yeah. um, his head hit Kurt, right? Is that all that made contact no, with him? No, he hit the, he hit the mat. Yeah, no, but I mean, it was just very close to Kurt. Yeah. Yeah, but no. I, mean, I think... When he bounced off the mat, he did make contact, but that was it. But what I'm saying is the distance was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's well, how yeah, it was Seth too, way too far away. Yeah. Um, anyway, so he pins him, mm-hmm. and then he's celebrating in the ring, yep. and then Finn Finn's, Ballers hit. Yeah, his music hits. hits, and Finn's walking out, and Seth's got this puss on his face. Yeah. Like, the hell, man? Yeah. And then he just leaves. Raining like, on my parade. This is ridiculous. Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we got Finn versus The Miz. Yeah. 
I don't understand the idea of taking the cowardly weak heel <laughs> and putting him in double duty. <laughs> yeah, and having him lose both <laughs> matches clean. Like, what is the point of this? Yeah, so before the match got underway, the Miz Taraj beat down Finn. Yeah, well, they attacked him as soon as he went into the ring. Yeah, yeah. The club comes out, and at this point, did Kurt come out? Yeah. yeah right? No, he went on the screen. Yeah, it was on the screen? Okay, I, I wasn't so. sure if that was it. But yeah. yeah, he said that Dallas and Axel and Gallows and Anderson are both removed from ringside. Yeah, which was odd. Yeah, and but then, whatever. Like you said, Finn beats him, mm -hmm. and... Yeah, we got nothing out of this. That was it. Yeah. Um, then after uh, Rollins is in the back mm -hmm. and he's, I guess, asked about his thoughts about the match or whatever, right. he's like, I'm not, you know, Finn, he beat a guy that I already I beat. beat. Yeah, that's nothing um, impressive. And he says that he wants to face The Miz at, um, at WrestleMania for the IC title. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, yeah. Guess, I guess they're leading to a triple threat. Well, that would make like sense. I said when we did our top matches for the year that triple threat they had on raw was fantastic for the mm -hmm. icy title mm -hmm. back in what october or something like that whenever it was mm -hmm. but so oh yeah okay yeah. i remember yeah that it was now. one that i think it main evented the show probably but it, it, maybe you know, whatever that it doesn't, doesn't matter but yeah it was a really good match and the three of them will put on a good match so. yeah and it gives finn something to do and seth something to do yeah and if you put the title on either one of them that's a feud for them to have well actually the rumors were Reigns and Rollins after Mania. So. Yeah. And I would assume uh, The Miz is going to take some time off after Mania to be, you know. I guess. I don't know. He was saying something about, like, in 60 days he'll have the moat. Because he said he'll be the longest reigning mm -hmm. Intercontinental like Champion. times added up. But, yeah, I was going to say it has to be c cumulative time mm -hmm. because right. he just got the title back a few weeks ago. Yeah, but I don't think, I mean, this isn't going to be his last reign. So. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just saying I... <laughs> yeah. I, I got what you're saying. I, they, he made a big stink about in 60 days, which is mm -hmm. after WrestleMania. Mania. So Unless they do a singles feud with him and Finn or something like that. Well, that that yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, it wouldn't make any sense for him to retain the title. Anyway. No, I, I, I agree so, with that. Especially in a triple threat with those two. But Well, he already did once. Yes, but not at a pay-per-view. <laughs> That's true. So Anyway. Yes. So up next, Moving we on. have a... Uh, a different uh, segment. Yeah. It was yeah. certainly much better than I feared. Yeah, because it was hyped that we would get a face-to-face -face confrontation between Roman and Brock. Yes, which obviously had disaster written all over it. Um, I wouldn't say disaster. Just it had meh. disaster written all over it. It had meh written all over I, it. I guess. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't pull by, apart the title again. By disaster, I didn't mean like. Oh, I mean it, like, like the crowd. Yeah, like it would have been crowd. terrible. Yeah, that's right. what I. Mean. All right, fair enough. Yeah um so roman comes out and he starts talking and he's like you know why am i defending this guy and then he says that brock's not here well it was weird because he starts like talking to himself and i was like oh this guy forgot his lines again here we go and then all of a sudden he's like nah yeah and then yeah because it, it seemed like he was trying to make an excuse and mm -hmm. then he's like you know what brock's not here he obviously doesn't feel it's important to show up um, he's too busy hanging out with Dana White, yep. and apparently there was yep. photos on Twitter of him with mm -hmm. Dana White, um, the the head of the UFC. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and at that point, Roman kind of just runs him down. He's like, Brock only cares about the money. I'm here for the, the passion mm -hmm. and for the fans and everything. I was born into this business. It's true. Mm -hmm. he, he got a very good fan reaction. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, to be fair, regardless of, you know... Their intentions with this, uh -huh. it's all something we feel about Brock Lesnar. I was going to say, it's all true. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's nothing he's no. saying that isn't mm -mm. true. Um, so it, it was very good. Yeah. It was worded well. It was portrayed well. It felt well. kind of yes. natural. It yeah. felt, it felt, this is the kind of stuff, and not it, obviously the 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 content, yeah. but like the, you know, the way that he should right. portray himself. Yeah. I'm sure, because this was obviously, it wasn't a shoot, so... Mm. Um, what I heard was that Vince had told him, you know, here's what you need to get across. And I'm yeah. sure this was Roman going, yeah, all right. And then he said it. It wasn't scripted and said, here you go. Yeah. Or this is WWE's attempt again to try and put Roman over big. 
Well, th- it's one of two ways. Well, no, I'm sure that th- that was the goal. Right, but, but I mean, who knows if, if it was legitimate that Brock wasn't going, you know. Well, what probably happened was Brock... It probably Brock wasn't supposed to be there. That's probably what the case was. Well, I, but I mean, he's done it in the past where he's no showed. I'm sure. I'm pretty I sure. I don't he think has. that's true. Really? I as f- I've never heard. I mean, I know Austin no showed against yes. him. Yes, <laughs> but I've never heard of him not doing. Okay. It. Well, think... okay. He's been a, a brat with with yes, his contract absolutely. negotiations. So, so it's not out of the realm. Of... So there's a good chance that he wasn't like scheduled mm-hmm. an appearance between right. the Royal Rumble and that's definitely yeah. possible. Yeah, oh absolutely. Um but the, and and they just probably hyped it Yeah, because... and he probably made a big stink about not wanting mm-hmm. to be on T V between yeah. the two. And they could have so he's like, I'll face Roman, but I'm not being on TV right. between those two times. That's true. Which it's, is fine. it's possible. Um and that's why I guess they asked him to go to Vegas mm-hmm. to make a big deal about yeah. it. Yeah. But from the way that the whole uh, Roman's angle was portrayed. It seemed like this was kind of their way of saying, "Okay, Brock's not going to be around much." Right, longer. and then you have to take into consideration too, like the rumors were Braun versus Miz. Now Braun's doing nothing, yeah. So it's possible that hey, maybe this is you know really happening, and we're going to put Braun into that and make it a triple threat. Yeah, because, that would, that would also make because sense. we're tired of this nonsense. You yeah. Know? So uh, having Braun enter that would be good right because i don't think they want to give it away too early Mm -mm. like that's a a week or two before yeah at the latest yeah um to to reveal that probably yeah well march is what tomorrow yeah so it could be a lot of uh braun beating up elias for the next few weeks yeah didn't do anything for me if he starts playing the bass again (laughs) that's fantastic yeah they could literally play that segment over and over again and not have anything new Mm -hmm. that's fine but yeah anyway yeah which like up next we get the phone promo from braun yeah saying he's going to uh, play the symphony of destruction on elias yep so that, that, that was good yeah unnecessary but good yeah, it's true and then we got nonsense yeah we, no they no did it again. idea why this happened they did it again so we got <laughs> the bar versus titus worldwide for another shot at the titles for whatever two out reason. of three falls yes which i forgot that titus worldwide did get a shot on raw a while back yeah yeah i, I forgot about yeah. it and then i thought about it during this i was like this son of a bitch. there's the These only matches were... that they've lost against the bar, bar on was, Raw. yeah um so mm-hmm. uh they get a very quick fall as yeah Shamus bro rolls kick, right i or don't he, even think he, i think he just rolled i thought up. no i thought he hit a bro kick. It, it's possible because I, cesaro ran around the ring dist- pulled the apollo off uh, and i guess okay. that distracted titus and uh yeah. sheamus hit the bro kick. okay um very quick first fall mm-hmm. i guess that would make sense why yeah. Titus was having such a hard time mm-hmm. getting up though yeah um and then you know apollo gets hit with the the top rope white noise yeah because i think this started at like 10 15 or something like that and then mm-hmm. we still had elias and braun and we still had the ronda rousey thing so i was like this can't be long yeah and uh so it was a very i don't even think there might have been one commercial break in the match there might have um so yeah it was a very quick uh, oh, two, two and done match. Yeah, they hit what the the double team white noise, right? Yeah, yeah. was it? That, that was that. So that and, no sense. and then they did an interview after the match, saying that they might not even be on WrestleMania because they have no opponents left. Yeah, that means that so it's going to be the revival. Mm. They have. No, I don't think they've faced them. Well, I know, but I don't know if it's going to be damn. It, it seems it's going to be a pre-show match. Yeah, I was going to say it <laughs> seems more likely that they're going to face someone new. You think? Well, they said there's no one left. The Revival are around. Right, but I don't know. I think that it would make more sense for someone new. Are they going to bring up the Authors of Pain? Why not? Or before Mania? We talked about this already. Yeah. I'll bring them up SmackDown. These Bludgeon Brothers. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> I know it is. That's why I said it. Yeah. Why not, though? It makes sense. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of make them the big fish in a little pond. Because there's no tag teams on Raw. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully they'll fix that with the draft that might come yeah. up. Yeah. Well, They're that and if Jeff is supposed to be back for Mania. Yeah. So. So, because I have no problem with, well, it's going to mess with Matt and. Unless they do the Brother Nero thing. Or, well, yeah, but he's. He costs him the match with but, Bray or something like but that. But the idea is to have the Matt and, and Bray match to happen at WrestleMania. Right. 
So that's that. Then Matt's not gonna be in a tag team match with. No, no, no. no. I, I was just saying afterward, after Mania, not not. Oh, talk, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, no yeah. reason no, why well, Matt when, and you, Jeff when we can't. S- said that the tag division is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah, down the road. Yeah, although, that's what I, that's all I meant. By although it. I wouldn't be surprised if if Jeff comes back as Jeff. Yeah. And then he's on SmackDown afterwards. I would be fine with that because then he would just get the WWE title and. Mm-hmm. You Vince could be a, a die a happy man. You could put a guy in a poop emoji suit and put him on SmackDown. And it, they fine. should bring back the bunny. <laughs> bring back Justin Gabriel. We'll, we'll all be happy. There you go. Anyway. Give it some time. Uh, Eric Rowan will be in the bunny suit. He's almost there. Something. Anyway. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. Yep. And then we have Elias singing his song. Yeah. As usual. Yep. Um. Braun comes out. They kind of have a match. It's basically Braun beating the crap out of Elias. Yeah. Elias is running away most of the time. Mm-hmm. Tries to go under the ring. Actually, did the match even start? I don't think it Maybe did. Maybe it never did start. I don't yeah. think it did. I think Braun came out and started beating on him. And then Elias tries to escape. And yep. then... Gets under him. the ring. Grabs a fire extinguisher as Braun pulls him out. Sprays him in the face. Mm-hmm. Then I think they went they back spray and... on him in the, the stands. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you can't do that. Why not? You're not supposed uh, to do that. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think one of them said it was like going to be a fine or something like that for I'm spraying sure. it. Yeah, that's probably something um, that Corey said. Yeah, but then they battled back and forth, and Braun was obviously selling it. Yeah. Um, and then he went to go put Elias through the announce table, and Elias was able to escape. Yep. He went runs backstage, and then Braun goes to chase after him. Elias just kind of goes out he of, got he, he got, got too far ahead yeah yeah so braun just was like come back here and get these hands or something like that i'm not done with yeah. you yet yeah. i think that's, that's what he said. yeah that's what he said and um, then next to him was a limo and well that, a limo was, like, was pulling, pulling up, up as, as elias was running right. away <laughs> um i didn't notice i'm assuming stephanie and triple h exited the limo or i did don't no i didn't one. nothing oh okay nothing came up about I, it I, I thought i just missed it uh, no okay. i don't think so yeah. anyway i'm guessing we're just yeah and then they cut to commercial yeah um and then we have the main event yeah i guess so the lame event yeah that's what that's what we're gonna go with i like it so triple h stephanie come out yep so <laughs> stephanie was coming up with excuses for kurt angle's actions mm-hmm. the couple uh the night before <laughs> and she goes he has double pneumonia didn't he have the flu too like that was her excuse was for like, more what is wrong <laughs> with these people well, I didn't say he was off the wagon again, or <laughs> and so, uh, and then he's she's having a relapse. Yeah, and then she's going on about how Rhonda's actions were unacceptable the mm-hmm. night before, and that um, now that she's a, an official WWE superstar, mm-hmm. that she has to do what we say, right. and we're their boss. Yeah, we we own you and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And <laughs> but but then they call out Angle, right? Yeah, and. To have him apologize for what had happened, mm-hmm. and at that point, Rhonda comes out. Oh yeah! She's Instead of Kurt Angle, yeah, yeah, steaming toward the ring, mm-hmm. and then Kurt Angle comes out. He wasn't so, even coughing. Yeah. <laughs> it was. He wasn't as sick as they claimed he was. That guy had some good color. So, so it was like, well, he's bright <laughs> red. No. Um, and Kurt goes, Rhonda, Rhonda, hold on. Oh my god! The, the stuff that I said wasn't necessarily true. <laughs> I made it all up. It was out of context or yeah. something like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then. <sighs> anyway. And they, yeah, yeah. Kurt basically apologizes for what he said. Mm-hmm. And then Stephanie uh, accepts Except, the apology. Right. And then yeah. they're like, okay, we can go now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Rhonda goes like, hold on, hold on. Yeah. We're not done yet. Yeah. We still have to address the slap. Yeah. Right. And then. uh and then Stephanie has this weird apology. And yeah. Where it was like yelling, but not Well, yet. no, she was, it looked like she was legitimately concerned about what Rhonda was, would do to her. Right. If she didn't apologize. Yeah, but they should have played that up more. No, like, no. Have security I think, come out or something, make a bigger deal. No, of I it. was okay with what they did. Yeah. It made it because, you know, she said that if you don't apologize, I'm going to have to hurt rip you your or something arm like off that. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was apology or rip your arm right. off. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's right. So. I like what they did because it made it seem like Stephanie was actually concerned because mm-hmm. it made sense. And then it also made sense for what took place afterwards. <laughs> um, so uh. she she apologizes. That's all fine and dandy. And then they're like, okay, let's go. Yeah. 
Kurt Angle, I, he started on the far end of the ring with Ronda. He just walks over. And then the two of them, I guess, follow Stephanie and Triple H yeah, as they're as leaving. exiting the ring, yeah. Stephanie goes out first. Triple H is right behind him. He gets one foot out of the ring. He turns around, just clocks Kurt Angle in, in the, the face. face. And Kurt Angle's got the dumbest look on his face he's, before it happens. He's yeah. just looking at the sky. He's like, what? what? <laughs> so it's like Triple H was supposed to knock out Kurt before he left, but forgot until he was already in the process of leaving. Oh, yeah. Bam. <laughs> and then there was a still of that image, yeah, and it looks like he's doing the Superman punch <laughs> on Kurt Angle. It's pretty funny. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, and that is that was how it ended. Yeah, it was uh, special. Yeah, odd way to end, but I, I, I guess this... they're really pushing Ronda Rousey. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I guess. And uh, which is which is fine. It's just it's just not very comfortable yet. Uh, this it was better. It was better. Yeah, no, better. Absolutely. But, but I think the, just the whole it's just awkward. The whole it's segment. A terrible. Terrible setup to a story. Uh, that's true. They, they very well could have just trying, done. Just trying to put over Stephanie again. That's pretty much what we're going to end up pretty doing. Pretty much, yeah. But all they really needed to do <clears throat> is have what happened on Sunday happen. And but instead of having Ronda go, oh, I'm so excited to be here. I don't want any special treatment. Right. You just have Kurt Angle spill when they're mm-hmm. just saying, "Oh, we're excited to have you here." Or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you it. Believe nothing, it's actually happening. Yeah, Stephanie? nothing else like that. Yeah, she didn't even need to say yeah. anything. And then Kurt Angle says what he says. Every, the goes through the table slap blah 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 right. and then tonight have this happen no words happen right. except for ronda says i want a mat i want my match to be with against you it's pointing at stephanie mm-hmm. and then triple h goes well you're not going in it alone right yeah but i think they're gonna do that soon not not I'm yet. just saying that you right. know, it would make more sense to not have all this filler yeah, but this didn't need to. But well, like you said, we're over um, over a yes. month away. But this is not a storyline that should be taking place over the course of many weeks. I guess that's true. Every once in a while, it should be like the Brock, Brock showing up. Yeah. yeah, or it should happen, and then it's just like you can have Stephanie causing problems yeah. for Ronda instead of having her directly deal with her. Mm-hmm. That would make more sense. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, it's awkward the way they put this situation. It, it was okay. Well. Triple H is going to be in a feud, well, so I might as well have him on TV. Ronda really doesn't want any special treatment. She wants to be a part of the regular roster. But so she's I have the a main feel- event. I know, I know, but I feel like they're going to keep dragging it out that way. But Well, no, she's going to be around. Yeah. But I'm just saying that it would make like more sense the, the for... The WrestleMania match will be her first match, probably. Yeah. That's... It shouldn't be. No, because A, we don't know what she's going to look like. Um, like, in I mean, terms obviously. of her ability but it i don't she, she's being put in a very good situation though because mm-hmm. her first match is with a non-wrestler right so it doesn't need to be great because you're not expecting much from stephanie either mm-hmm. and you have the men or triple h and whoever is yeah. going to be it's looking like it's going to be kurt kurt because they keep Unless they, um, unless Kurt goes, you, you know, uh, I haven't been I up to pro- wrestling. I need a proxy, and then we get Braun or something like that. That would be okay too. Which is honestly something that didn't they... Braun beat up Triple H at Survivor Series. Yes, yeah. that was how the show ended. Yeah, right. Um, so that would make sense. Um, funny enough, there was rumors that um, on Sunday Shane was supposed to show or possibly going to show up and rip Ronda from underneath yeah. uh, Stephanie and Triple H. And have the two of them team together against Stephanie and Triple H, which would have been worse. Yes and no, because I don't want Shane in another match against a roster member. I guess that's true. That's the only well, so are you lining expecting there. that to happen? I don't see it. All right, we'll 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 talk more when we get to the SmackDown. I know, but I, I just as of right now, I don't see that happening. The man has to insert himself into everything. No, I'm sure he'll be involved in a feud. Yeah. But I don't think he's going to be in a match. All right. Let's hope I could that. be wrong. Let's hope but not. I don't see that happening. Yeah. So because it would be Kevin Owens and I don't see that That's true. I because Kevin Owens has a pretty clear path oh yeah no to what his wrestlemania match is gonna be yeah coincidentally the same exact path he was on last year Mm -hmm. but still yeah we'll see things could change but yeah but yeah that is all we have for you guys right now so that was our raw review yeah a uh 
and entertaining, but otherwise a little confusing at some points. Episode of Raw. Yep. But you know that's that's always what you get. Yep. Much. For now. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.